All right, all right. Here we are. Um, this is going to be a ride of me on the Porky Pine Rim Trail in Moab, Utah. It was pretty exciting. Uh, we'll start off with just a few little pictures of the area. It's beautiful. Um, so I'm going to take this solo trip down the Porcupine Rim Trail because I had a buddy who told me about it. Uh, telling me that it was <clears throat> many, many miles down, just all downhill. And here you see myself. What just happened is I got dropped off by a buddy of mine who, who just he couldn't handle riding slick rock and porcupine rim all in one day so he drops me off what we thought was the trailhead and it was not so I had to ride about a mile <clears throat> up to get to this point right here that shows a map of what you're doing after that when I went there was just not much marked anywhere down through the trail it was kind of a pain in the butt but <clears throat> anyway so here you go on the Porcupine Rim Trail, the entrance to it, and it kind of has all these shrub trees left right of you. It's kind of nice, smooth, a little bit sandy, but it's good to go. And as you get closer and closer, <clears throat> you'll see eventually I'll pop out on the rim. And there we go, yeah, so I rented a bike um, from Moab area, and that was a bad boy. That was called a, it's a Trek Remedy. That's a $5,000 bike. I've never owned anything like that, but it was awesome. I enjoyed that, that bike. It really did. Great suspension. And I felt like I needed it this entire time. Because you're going over some big old rocks and stuff. And one of the issues that I'm going to run into is the trail. It's not marked as well as I'd like for it to be. There's so many different lefts and rights that you can take that look like a trail but they're not and uh, if you look at another video of mine I'll try to post this on here somewhere but I'm lost as a goose I didn't know where I was I was lost out in the middle of all this for like 45 minutes I'll show you where that happens um, when we get to it but right now I'm just kind of just figuring this area out like I said it's hard to figure out where the rim is you look off to the left right there and Yes, you see the rim dropping off, boom. And, uh, yeah, so I'm, in, I'm, I'm excited. I got the adrenaline going, pumped. I found the rim, like, oh, yeah, look at this beautiful view. And we're going to start down the rim trail here in a few moments. <clears throat> For, uh, I believe it was 17 miles that I did. I wasn't able to get to the very, very top because... Uh, they didn't open it up during the summer. This is the middle of the summer. It's hot. I brought a lot of beverages with me. I should say a lot of different drinks and things with me. Gatorades. I think I had six Gatorades with me. I had them all in my shirt. I had me a biking shirt on. I looked really goofy, but I had to have it. And if I'd have gotten lost, there was nothing out there to help you. Once you kind of get oriented, though, it, it's not too bad. It's, it's something that anybody can handle if you have any skill level at all. This picks up here in a little bit. You're kind of just weaving and bobbing, kind of flat. And as you get further down, it gets steeper and steeper, but nothing like super steep where you're, you're screaming at 40 miles an hour. It's all fun, flowy stuff. I highly recommend it to anybody that's got any skill level at all to get out here and do this. But you got to be prepared. And you can't just go out there and try to figure this out on your own. You'll cramp up. You won't be able to make it. Mountain biking is a fun creature. Yes, it is. Take you anywhere. Take you in places that most people can't go. Most people will never go just because they need to be near other folks. They need that comfort of having that security all around you. A drink. An easy bathroom. See this right here? It's like, which way do you do? Which way do you go? Now this is a few years ago, so maybe you know, the rim trail got a little bit better marked. Oh yeah. 
Look at that beautiful haircut. That's looking over the rim. That, that's worth it right there. Just to go get right there, check out the rim trail, and you'll see a lot of this. The trail kind of drops down levels of this as you're going down it. So you'll be up next to the rim, and then you'll hit like a little... And it's not a washout, but it looks like a drainage. But it's a little, little tiny trail that you drop down 20, 30 feet. And then you're on another level as you go down the side of the rim. So you got the trail off to your left over there. And I'm thinking the way this is working, the camera has flipped around. Because I spent most of my time with the, the canyon on my right side. And right here it looks like it's on my, ref, my left side. I may turn around here in a few minutes come to the other side but anyway so it looks like a trail you know hopping up on these rocks and all but I think I don't think I'm, I'm on the trail right here <clears throat> I could be totally wrong that's the way I felt the whole time this way I'm talking right now it's like is this the trail is it not the trail does it feel like the trail and then you find these little uh, washout slash Trails, they look like trails. It could be trails. Maybe they're not trails. You'll see as we pass certain places, it's like, maybe I could go right right there. Maybe I could go left. Does it look like a trail to y'all? Put it down there in the comments. And this is definitely an adventure. I always describe myself as a person who likes journey, who likes adventure, likes exploring, and this was definitely one of those and <clears throat> there was high and low points in this thing the entire way I, mean, I feel like I'm on the trail I think I am. it's beautiful and then this happened so what happens is I don't, I'm no longer on the trail and I hit man some of the best riding I've ever had and just up and down little, little drops two and three foot drops skirting here and there it was amazing. I was having a good time. Little shrubs everywhere. See if I could just go to the right, right down there. But you can't. Well, I kept going and going. And it kind of started to get a little bit more rough. Here in a little bit. You'll see it in a second. We're flying down through there. Oh, you're having a good time. It's good, it's good riding. Now, <clears throat> this trail goes on for, like I said, I believe I did 17 miles and it went on and on and on and on up at the top and then gradually you'll see in a moment near where I kind of drop off down to the right actually after I find where out where I'm at because I had to do I did 45 minutes of just a down the wrong trail which was not a trail at all I think we're in the lost area right now so it looks crazy yeah, it looks like a trail but and that's not that's not a trail now I put this in a little fast motion and you'll see me stop a few times look around I don't hear anything I don't see anything no birds no animals a couple little lizards here and there you figure you see a, a car or something off in the distance I didn't see any cars at this point, I think I still am on the trail, but I, I'm always confident enough that I can always just back up. You know, I can back up and go on and find out where I'm, where I was. So I pick up my bike a couple times, walking around, checking things out. So this is the whole time I am lost. Here's a cool story. So I remember. Um, right before this trip, I decided I'd go and watch a little TV and ran into the show so you think you'd survive or something like that. And it was about all these people who went on all these adventures and uh, crazy things happened to them. Like the guy who went hiking and climbing and he got his hand stuck and he ended up having to cut his hand off and different things like that. 
And so this is going through my mind right now. I'm thinking, am I going to survive this? Am I going to get out? They're going to find my shriveled up body in a few Gatorade cups and that's that. But anyways, that, that was a weird little thought. I remember that. So it's definitely, I'm not on the trail right now. But you can see how you can just go in any direction. And if you got the skill, you could ride all this stuff. I'm riding and I'm hopping off a little bit. And I'm going down and then eventually I'll... I'll, like, I'll have to backtrack and be like, Oh man, this is not cool. Let me go back. So I'm headed back right now. Now what's cool, this is the back in the day when... I did have a cell phone. I finally got one. It's good stuff. Yes, it is. And I had it for a while. I had to use it. Not the best cell phone in the world. A little flip phone. And good gosh, look at him. It doesn't really look like a trail anymore. I thought it looked more like a trail than it did when I was out there. I wish this kit, this GoPro was a little bit clearer. This is the original GoPro so it's not the 4k and the high definition stuff that we have today you can even tell by the resolution it's all that exciting but see how clear it is in some of these spots it's kind of just go wherever I'm glad this is semi documented because it's it's funny so funny to me all these little shrubs or these trees that are kind of just beat up dying for some water <clears throat> I'm throwing this bike around, hopping on it, hopping off of it. It looks like I'm just beating myself through the trees, doesn't it? I think this is the point of the most frustration I'm at. And I'm, I think I eventually just turn around, backtrack back up to where I was, and realize that I will have just flown past this little sign. Let's watch my frustration for a second. <laughs> Fun stuff, yeah. Which way did he go? Which way do I go? I can't figure it out. Do I go left? Do I go right? Let me just hop over this log. Hop over that log. Ooh, now that starting to look like a trail, isn't it? Oh. Maybe not. Is it a trail? Is it not a trail? Now, I had to turn the audio off of this, this camera here. Because it's, you know, the trees are beating it, slapping it. It's just awful sounding. Pow, pow. On my head, I start to actually forget that I actually have a camera on, and I'm just focused on survival now. Survival mode. Let's get out of here. Let's see if we can get back to civilization. Frustration, a little bit of worry starts to set in. Does that look like a trail to y'all? I've been on some rough trails. That does not. That looks like I'm just barreling through some old shrubby trees. And I'm throwing my bike up and everything, so it's definitely not a trail. So crazy story why we're watching this happen this morning popped up it was 5 30 in the morning I'm, I'm excited i'm like yeah doing good this morning getting up early actually it's a little bit late because i usually get up at five but i felt good i didn't realize it but it was 4 30 in the morning i went and ran me three miles came back out all right look here getting back on the trail the rims over there on the left so like i've been here before and anyway so i pop in and I'm like, I figured my wife would be up taking a shower and everything, but she wasn't. <laughs> so I went in there and I was like, hey honey, it's 10 after, you're supposed to be up. I'm thinking 10 after 6, it's 10 after 5. 
She grunts and, oh, that was not good. I'll get, she'll get me later. Anyway, so, all right, I'm starting to feel better. Here we go. I'm getting out of this loss situation. Because now we're back on the trail. I think. Hard to tell. Because it's very smooth in some places. All right, throw the bike down. Look at me pulling out my phone. I thought I had the brilliant idea. Let me use that flip phone. I'm going to call my buddy. Who sent me out here? Well, he's in, he's in California now. I'm like, I'm saying, oh, come on, Scott. Help me out. Uh, I need, I'm lost. I'm over here in the Porcupine Rim Trail, and I am lost. I can't find my way out. And I don't know what he would do, but I, I need I needed some comfort, I guess. <laughs> someone to talk to or someone who's to share my frustration with right here. That's what I was doing. Anyway, so I had to leave a message. And then right after this, my phone is just gonna die. I don't even I don't even have that. So these modern conveniences that we have, they're not the most reliable things in the world. They're not gonna last forever. Because that was the best of the best back in the day. I think it was a Nokia. Nokia used to be big. Everybody had Nokia. And then Samsung and Apple took over. Anyway, so I sat right there, and I'm actually not too far from actually where I need to be. I don't realize it, but I'll figure it out here in a minute. So I sat there trying to figure things out. <clears throat> it looks like I made two phone calls. Maybe I called him, and then I, I called him again just to kind of get him back. I think he's probably trying to climb on the top of Mount Rainier or something right now. I don't know how he'd help me, but... That's what I did. I wish y'all could hear my voice right now on this this little series. But look at that bike. That's a good looking bike right there. The suspension was really nice. I was I've always ridden a hardtail, and um, the few the full suspensions I've gotten on it always was real. Squishy. I feel like I was my back end kept bouncing up in the air. I guess you kind of got to get used to that. And I did it with this bike. That trick, boy, it was nice. That trick remedy. I'm looking around. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna be all right. Look at that steel picture. I wish that was clearer. That would be a lot nicer if it was clear. Yes, it would. All right, so we made it back down to the tra the trail here. We think still kind of lost until I find myself a sign. I need a sign. Give me a sign. Some directions. Uh oh, was that a sign? Did I just pass one up? <clears throat> Let's see if we can find one. And there's one right there. And you notice? Yep. I wish I could see that a little bit better. Tell you what that says, but it. It's not super clear about what that is, but I found my way out. I'm feeling good, but now I'm trying to figure out, hey, do I go back or do I follow that little arrow? And I pull out the phone. I think I have to take a picture of it. And I'm going to go down that arrow. It doesn't say like porcupine rim trail. It doesn't really help you that well. And that doesn't look like a trail right there. It goes down and you're kind of like, what in the world? Is that what I want? <laughs> so time to make a decision. Do I go completely back and end up riding this long, long dirt road out all the way back to Moab because this is a long way. Or do I hit this trail where, I'm, where I wanted to go? Let's see what I do. I think my phone's broken at this time. That's what happened. The battery died or the battery fell out or something. And I remember that was like a little frustrating. Oh, man. 
Man, my only link to civilization is now gone. Got a little bug flying around my, my head right now. I'm probably smelling good. Oh, he's getting on my camera. Hey, little bug. All right, come on. Time to make a decision, big boy. You can handle this. I wish that was a little bit clearer. That'd be a beautiful view right there. I was sitting here trying to make a decision, and do we do it? Come on. Put that phone in your pocket. You don't need that link to the world. That's another thing, too. Like if you look down at my shoes, I'm wearing some tennis shoes. And I wasn't used to that. There we go. We're going down. So I'm not actually riding right now. We're going down this very steep little edge. And boom. Get back on the bike. Yes. We got a trail. Let's ride it. And you just notice we just went down. We are definitely on the edge of the trail. We're still going down. Can't ride the bike. Too steep. Going down, 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 down. You see how steep that is? It doesn't look like a trail. It doesn't look like it's where you're supposed to go, but it convinced me after being lost that this is what it is. I'm starting to feel a little confidence that I am found because I am on some type of trail. Going down. Yes. So we're on the edge of the side of the cliff. Working our way down to the river. And I'm found. Yay. Do do. We made it. All right, all right. So, we're on our way out. <clears throat> With a little confidence, feeling good. I remember the riding picked up in the speed. So, you're starting to get a little faster and faster. Flowing down through there. Now, there was no way to document 15 miles of trail. So, this will be sporadic coming down through here. Checking things out. So, this is where it kind of the fun really began. And one thing I wish I could ch I would have changed doing this is I wish I could have done it with somebody else. This would have been something worth sharing because you'd stop, take some pictures of each other, talk about what you see. You know, been cool. But at the same time, there's something to say for doing all this by yourself. I mean, you're out there. You only have you to rely on. Look at that view right there. You know, I, I would have stopped more often. That's awesome. Um, if I wouldn't have gotten lost, I would have had some really good footage to to share with everybody. You gotta get out of here just just for these views, even in the middle of summer. And they'll they'll try to talk you out of actually riding this thing in the middle of summer because it's it's hot. I mean, it really is hot. You gotta prepare yourself, needing to be in great shape. And if something happens to you, you're gonna be out there by yourself for a long time. Until somebody can come and get you. But check this thing out. So you're right there on the rim. I never figured out why they called it the porcupine rim. But that is the name of it. Y'all enjoy some footage coming on down the rim trail. To be honest, this this haul all from after I was found all the way to a, a point where we hit this huge, I'm talking huge, giant, flat rock. Everything was kind of a blur. It all kind of looks the same. I'm not even talking about the blur on the camera. I'm talking about the blur in my mind. I really, I really don't know what's going on. I don't remember it that well. Anyway, so hit that big flat rock, and that, that was another decision time. Which way do you go? Do you go left, right? On this, I'm talking, this was a big as a small town, this big old rock. But you can tell I'm picking up my pace, getting my confidence back. I'm like, yep, I'm on the rim trail. Coming down. And the goal is to end up at this creek. And now, something else is happening too. So while I'm coming down through this, my bot, my buddy, who brought me up there in his little truck, he 
he has gone to the hostel in the local area where we're staying and he decided he's gonna take a little nap well he's not a mountain biker he's in good shape and everything but he's not a biker we went and did the slick rock trail which is fabulous you got to do the slick rock trail it's one of the most amazing places on the face of the earth in my opinion kind of wild out there <clears throat> i love it and uh anyways we rode i think it was nine ten miles something like that on it maybe not that far but we rode rode enough where he decided he's gonna go back to the hostel and take a nap and he is laying in the bed he is out he is gone he's supposed to be my ride but he's not gonna be there at the end and i have to ride from the end of this porcupine rim trail up the highway back and turn this bike in right here or i was gonna get charged another day but you see this trail it's i mean a little bit technical <clears throat> smooth fun and a technical trail you kind of you got to keep your eyes on the trail you can't sit there and just stare around looking at everything and you really want to in a lot of ways, if you look at it, it looks like the same picture over and over and over. Twist and turn. That's why you got to go and see it. Because all these twists and turns, and you're there. They're just so different. Everything's so pretty. I remember actually going down through it, and I'm, I'm wondering, is this the trail again? Because you notice it's kind of getting rough. Is this a trail? So I just keep on going. Kind of just... Just living in the in the second, living in the moment. Remember, I don't see another person for this entire 17 miles. Nobody. Not many places you can do that on. Not many places at all. Well, we just got a couple minutes here left. There we go. Another sign. It gives you a little confidence. I saw that on the left. Now this may be. Kind of that big flat rock area, maybe. Popping up on some signs. Man, we wish we could really read that. That always gives you confidence. Whoever are the trail makers of the world, put signs everywhere. Just enough where everybody can figure out what's going on so you know what's happening. So I'm taking a little break. My phone is dead. It is gone. I don't get it back. I remember I had to go to the next town over. This was a big long two week trip. Me and a buddy drove all the way from <clears throat> Alabama out here to Utah. And then we went up to Yellowstone and back over to North Dakota. So we saw so many things in two weeks. Drove so many miles. It was a blast. Anyways, here we go. Flying down. Yeah, having a good time. It's a good memory. Go get you some of the Porcupine Rim Trail. Mm, Alright, it's about 6 o'clock in the morning. My wife's going to wake up and be mad at me because I woke her up an hour ago. <laughs> it's awful, isn't it? I'm a horrible husband. No, not really. She's a lucky woman. Yes, she is. All right, so the trail, I remember kind of kind of rough and stuff in areas. I remember they gave me one tube. I was worried about that. It's really not that much, but the tires are a little bit bigger. I think it's the 27 and a half inch tires. And they're real thick and they're not the huge, huge tires like we have today, but the, they were a bigger tire back then. They were quick, nimble, man, but it was so comfortable. I had my little biking shorts on and my shirt. Oh, that's what I was saying earlier. So, I'm used to having shoes that clip into the pedals, and I didn't have that on my own pedals, so I'm riding on flats, and it wasn't too bad. It worked out pretty good. I almost kind of recommend when you're on new bikes and new areas, you almost need some flats sometimes. I've had a couple instances where I clip in, and as they got older, then you know there's those pedals, they don't, they don't last forever. And I remember I had one time, my foot didn't come out. I was twisting and pulling and turning my heel all I could, and that thing would not come out. And I fell straight over and smacked my back of my head on a big old rock. Lucky I had the helmet on. Oh, yeah. 
we're cruising now. So it almost looks like a road. I remember the area's got wider and wider and wider. And then as you got closer down <clears throat> toward the end, it got steep and fun. I'm talking really fun. And you're like, oh yeah, I can pick up the pace. You could actually kind of feel the water below you because you can end up at a big old river, the river that flows through Moab. Yes. I just want to say thank y'all for joining me. Hope you've enjoyed this little narration and footage of, of the best footage I could give you from the Porcupine Rim Trail from a, quite a few years ago. Well, this is probably about nine years ago. <clears throat> so we're looking at maybe 2011. Man, time flies. So we don't have a lot of time. Yes. Go get you some some Moab. It's beautiful. Hit the Slick Rock Trail. Hit the Porcupine Rim Trail. You will not regret it. You will love it. You'll love every minute of it. I know I did. I'll be back out there. I'm going to try to go a little bit earlier in the summer. And that's it, folks.